Hey, my name is Johnny Neely, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City. I'm going to talk to you about rotational strategies in volleyball. There's three main rotational strategies that I want to discuss. The first strategy is referred to as a 4-2. Typically, younger ages will use this strategy. It's where you have two different setters, um, and the setter will always stay in the front row. So in a 4-2 rotation, you're only going to have two hitters in the front row at all times, and there's always going to be a setter in the front row. Another strategy is a 6-2. Uh, again, this is where you utilize two setters, but in a 6-2, you're going to have your setters in the back row, and you're always going to have three different hitting options in the front row. A lot of times, uh, you'll see teams use a rotational strategy referred to as a 5-1. A 5-1 is where you just have one setter on the court. The setter rotates uh, to the, diff the six different areas on the court. So half the time the setter will be in the back row, so they'll have three hitting options in the front row. Whereas uh, the other half, the setter will be in the front row, which means they only have two front row hitting options. Uh, a lot of times teams that use a 5-1 rotation strategy also have players in the back row who will be able to hit the ball behind the 10-foot line. Again, this is Johnny Neely, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City, talking to you about different rotational strategies in volleyball.